Can we just talk about plastic surgery yeah, since we're on this Yeah, let's talk. Yeah. Well, this is refreshing. Megan Fox is opening up about the plastic surgery and the treatments that she's had. And some of it is a lot less than people have speculated. There have been some people saying she's had over $100,000 worth of work done, which is nowhere near the truth. But Megan has also opened up about doing way more than many people expected, such as three boob job revisions. It's no secret that a lot of celebrities lie about the plastic surgeries and the treatments that they have. And there's this sentiment going around the internet of, you're not ugly, you're just poor, right? It's very unusual for a celebrity to open up super honestly about what they have and haven't had done, and it's actually really, really refreshing that Megan has chose to do this, even in light of opening up about some of the insecurities that she's had. So Megan Fox is an actress, and I've never seen any of her movies, but I used to date someone years ago that was like obsessed with Megan Fox, which is how I actually found out about her. And there is no denying that she's an absolutely gorgeous woman. Well, Megan has been in the spotlight for years, and I can only imagine how much pressure has been put on her when she's acting in movies or becoming a mother, going through marriages, etc. And recently she went on a podcast called Call Her Daddy and spoke about not only what she's had done, but why it's never good enough for the internet. And as someone who is on the internet and sometimes makes commentary, I think it is really important to discuss this. Specifically because Megan's kind of right. There are hundreds of thousands of opinions and you're never going to be able to please everyone, nor should you want to, right? But this also gets into a tricky topic of many celebrities doing treatments and procedures not being honest about them, and then using their looks to sell us products or tools or services that we're made to feel like we need, and we're comparing ourselves to this idealized version of beauty without knowing what happens underneath. Now before we actually speak about what Megan has and hasn't had done, there's specifically a YouTuber named Lori Hill that has speculated on Megan's as well as many other people's plastic surgery. And Lori Hill's channel is really great. She helps to break down the stigma of plastic surgery. She's been super open about the things that she's had done, and she regularly breaks down the cost of treatments and procedures that she speculates celebrities have done to help people realize what is and isn't attainable and what it actually takes to look a certain way. Now, all of that being said, I watch Lori Hill's videos sometimes. I really respect her as a person, but I don't always agree with what she says. And I do think that some of the plastic surgery claims are really overstated. For example, I think there was actually some drama between her and Doja Cat. She was saying that Doja Cat has had lots of plastic surgery and Doja Cat saying she's all natural. Nonetheless, Lori Hill made a video speculating about what Megan Fox had had done and how much it cost. Specifically, there were things like two rhinoplasties, lip lift, multiple boob jobs, facelifts, skin treatments, etc. And Lori Hill had priced this at over $100,000 worth of treatments and procedures. But what's so refreshing about Megan Fox clearing the air is that she's been super open about not just one and not just two, but three different boob jobs, but also never having plastic surgery, never getting a facelift, never getting cheek implants, never getting a lip lift either. Although she has opened up about injectables, such as things like Botox and filler. Now, again, it's so refreshing <laughs> to hear a celebrity talk about this because so often we look at celebrities or people in magazines or movies and we compare ourselves to them. As a young girl, I used to compare myself to other women that I saw in magazines and didn't even realize how it was impacting my ideals or my visions of beauty. And growing up with acne, I can't imagine that that was good for my self-esteem even if I didn't equate it at the time. And that being said, it's not a celebrity's fault that I was comparing myself to them in a magazine or on the cover of a CD because I didn't get to watch TV, which is probably good for my mental health, honestly. It's not a celebrity's fault and every single patient, including celebrities, should not have to disclose any of their personal medical information. That's why HIPAA exists for patient privacy and protection. But I do feel like if we are being sold an image of beauty, brands, products, services, look at all these celebrity skincare lines that are veiled in both Photoshop, fillers, and yes, plastic surgery treatments, that's where I think it kind of borders false advertising. And I'm really curious as to how you feel about that. Now, again, I'm not really caught up to celebrity culture, but I don't think Megan Fox is selling a skincare line or a beauty brand or anything like that. And so the fact that she's willing to be open about motherhood and how it changed her body and what she has had done is so refreshing because now we can stop speculating and this does two things. Number one, if someone really looks up to Megan and wants to get that look, it shows them what she's actually done and the cost of doing that. And it's also testament to bodies change as we get older and over time. Some people attribute that to plastic surgery, but sometimes it's just part of the natural growing and aging process. And number two, it also helps to break down the fact that part of this look is done by the help of professionals. So if someone doesn't have the money for plastic surgery or to get three boob jobs, they don't have to compare themselves to the same standard because they actually know and cognitively understand there is money and expertise that went into this. Now, again, I respect Megan so much for opening up about this. And apparently the reason that she got three breast augmentations was because the first one wasn't done as well. And then after she had children, her body changed. And guess what? 
that is totally and completely normal. The fact that a human body can even carry a child, is that not such an amazing, wonderful thing? Could you think about having babies, if not multiple babies, like in the vessel of a human? That's pretty impressive. And yes, of course, there's going to be changes to the boobs, the stomach, the butt, the entire body, including the hair, because yes, many people struggle with postpartum hair loss and then hair growth. But I love that she opens up about that and spoke about how she was unhappy with the implants because she decided to get them revised. She also opened up about not two nose jobs the way Lori Hill had suspected, but she did have one nose job. And nose jobs used to be so common in the celebrity plastic surgery industry. If you want me to like break down celebrity plastic surgeries versus influencer plastic surgeries, it is a completely different ball game. And again, nose jobs, AKA rhinoplasties used to be a huge thing. They're still big and a lot of people are still going in for them, but there are new treatments like liquid nose jobs that some people are getting which has totally changed the game. And while Megan Fox has been open about having one nose job, she said it was in her 20s and she actually only ever had one, not multiple. Megan Fox also denied any traditional plastic surgery. No facelifts, no endoscopic brow lifts, no lip lifts, etc. She didn't even get cheek implants or jaw shaving the way that some people have speculated. She has, however, been super open about Botox, about filler, and yes, basically every laser under the sun. And I love that she speaks about this because filler can have big impacts on the face. Again, you can do a lip liquid nose job with filler. You can even put filler in certain areas of the face that give it a more rounded look or a more chiseled look, depending on the placement and how thick or what type of filler it is. And then Botox, we've actually spoken about how it does not get rid of wrinkles and how the industry lies to people telling them that it does, but how Botox can prevent wrinkles from happening and how it also gives people kind of this face that doesn't necessarily emote the way that one would expect. This is again why when Kim Kardashian cries, the rest of her face doesn't cry with her. And the fact that Megan Fox has been open about this, as well as all of the lasers, the skin treatments that she's had done. If anyone knows her skincare routine, can you please like send it to me in the comments because I wanna react to it. I wanna know what products she's using, the ingredients of those products, and whether or not they should or shouldn't work based on the science and her skin type, and whether or not those products would work for you or me based on our skin type and our skin concerns. And that's why I loved, I used to love doing those reaction videos because I never saw it as critiquing a person. I love critiquing products and routines though. And it's been a hot moment since we've done them, but should I bring it back? Should I not? Again, some people got really angry with them, but I feel it's a good conversation that gives you information that you can choose to run with or not. And we're objectively looking at products and ingredients and the science behind them to help other people know when they should or shouldn't spend their money and if something will or won't work. Now, again, one could look at Lori Hill and what she said about Megan Fox or other celebrities and say, oh my gosh, well, she's speculating on plastic surgery, blah, blah, blah. Again, Everyone has an opinion. And especially when someone is in the celebrity light, if they choose to stay in that celebrity light, I'm not saying that it's okay for them to be bullied or ridiculed or spoken down to because of their choices at all. But I do think it is okay to speculate and I do think it is okay to discuss, especially if we as a society have implications to what that celebrity is doing. For example, I can't remember exactly where I read this, but it was something to the effect of, we look to doctors for expertise and advice. We look to celebrities to understand trends and trend setting, and we look to our peers for acceptance. And that was really, really interesting to me. And seeing as celebrities really are trendsetters and that's who we look towards, I do think it's important for us to discuss these things, especially to break down stigma and to understand if you want something, when is that a healthy decision that you're making for you versus one that you are making for society or for peers or for celebrities? And again, if celebrities are trendsetters, should someone really be looking to a celebrity versus looking to a doctor or an expert, you know, for that health and for that medical advice? Because yes, a lot of these treatments and procedures are literally medical procedures. I think it's so refreshing that Megan opened up about this and the fact that she did state, hey, it's never going to be good enough for the internet. That is so true. Someone's always going to have an opinion, including me and my big mouth. But I want you to remember this. And I hope that someone tells Megan this somewhere down the line, but someone else's opinion of you you has nothing to do with you. Think about that, right? What is an opinion made up of? An opinion is taking someone's lived experiences, facts that they know or believe they know, their judgments and biases, and basically layering that into what they observe of you. So for example, if I have an opinion of you, that says nothing about you. <laughs> that says more about my thought process of what goes in behind my mind and my experiences and my judgments and my moral compass and my value system that I'm projecting onto you. And that was something that was huge that I wish I would have learned when I had acne, right? If someone has an opinion about me or my beauty or anything that I do, it has less to do with me and it says more about 
their background, their lifestyle, etc. And whenever it comes to celebrities, I get that it can be really hard. I have no idea what they go through, and I'm not trying to make life harder on them by talking about these things. But I do think that we need to celebrate when celebrities do speak up openly. We need to talk about the issues, both the positives and the negatives, of plastic surgery and of societal judgment, just so that we can be more informed. Because if we ignore it, people are still gonna have opinions and it's not gonna get better. Whereas if we open it up, if we talk truthfully about it, and if we try to analyze and scrutinize it, we can actually have a better understanding of it. We can break down things we don't know, be less afraid of them, and we can just have more transparent conversations that are approached with more kindness and compassion. At least that's my philosophy on it, which is again, just my opinion based on my morals, my values, my experience, etc. I'm so curious to what you think, and specifically what you think of Megan Fox, how she looks and how she has transformed over the years. This also goes to show that even without plastic surgery and without a lot of these procedures, she would have changed naturally because that's what happens as we get older and as we age and as we carry babies in the vesicle of our human bodies. Like, crazy, right? Anyways, I think this is so refreshing and I think it's especially fascinating to, you know, compare the truth as per Megan Fox's interview on Call Her Daddy podcast to speculation like that of Lori Hill or even the many other articles and things that have been posted online wondering how she got from looking like this to looking like this. And I'm also super fascinated to hear what you think. Should celebrities even be talking about what they've gotten done? Should it be hush hush? Or are you super relieved as well? Is it so refreshing to hear a celebrity speak openly about this stuff, especially someone who's not trying to sell us with their appearance. Unless she is. If somebody, if she's trying to sell us something, you guys, can someone explain that to me? Because I, to my knowledge, to the best of my knowledge, I don't think she has, you know, a celebrity beauty brand yet. I hope she doesn't get one. Actually, I hope she does because it'll finally be one from someone who's been open with us about what they haven't had done. Anyways. It's refreshing and so is this coffee. <laughs> Post a comment, let me know what you think, and make sure that you watch this video next or add it to your watch later playlist because this goes even deeper. Overall, always remember to be beautiful both inside and out, and I'll see you in the comments and right over here. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye. <laughs>